After 37 years waiting for one of these, I'll be at the home of Bristol Bears Rugby Club following their famous win in Europe. Report to Alex Wood at the Bears training ground for us this evening. The trophy, of course, it's on display there now. Alex, what a weekend they've had. Yes, that's right, John C. It was a huge night for Bristol Bears and their supporters on Friday night for a number of reasons, not least making their very first European appearance final. Of course, they also hadn't won a trophy in over 30 years. And just think, a little over two years ago, we're playing in the Championship, the second division here in England. You couple that with the fact they were up against Toulon, an established European side who play in the top tier in France. Well, there was plenty at stake for Pat Lamb and his players. But once the referee blew that whistle and the match actually got started, none of that really seemed to matter as they quickly imposed themselves on their opposition. Well, before we turn to Pat Lamb and Chris Boy, who join us in a minute, let's take a look at how the match unfolded. Brilliant scenes there at the full-time whistle in France. Well, back here in Bristol at the club's training ground, I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Pat Lamb, director of rugby, and Chris Boy, the club chairman, here with us now with the cup, the cup on display behind you there. Pat, come to you first. How proud are you of the players? Next tonight, Coast Guards are urging people to avoid cliffs after a rock fall killed a dog and nearly injured its owner in Cornwall. A section of the cliff on a beach near Newquay collapsed yesterday, hitting and burying the dog. The owner avoided being struck, but there are warnings that recent wet weather could cause unstable areas neither near the coast and the sea, as Alex Wood now reports. It might look relatively calm now, but this beach near Newquay was a different picture at the weekend after a large section of the cliff suddenly gave way. A dog, out on a walk at the time, was sadly killed by the rocks, while its owner managed to escape with only minor injuries. The incident is the latest in a number of recent cliff falls in the region and has prompted an urgent warning from the Coast Guard. As well as upgrades to the kitchen, the £150,000 refurb has also resulted in some new toilets and the installation of CCTV. Well, it's wonderful. From what we've come from, I mean, we've got volunteers who remember going into the cellar to get the tins of beans and banging their heads. To have this space and this capacity is just phenomenal. And, uh, you know, all, everyone who's made this happen, we just want to say a massive, huge thank you. We just wish we could have people in the building. <laughs> you know? Torquay United will look to continue their fine start to the season when they take on Crawley in the FA Cup this weekend. The girls are five points clear at the top of the National League and the mood is high in the camp. Alex Wood reports. The girls are flying. Torquay tore through Hartlepool last weekend to pull clear at the top of the National League. The hat-trick hero Danny Wright is focused on one thing. Good afternoon. Torbay's Director of Public Health is urging people in the area to follow COVID guidelines as cases continue to rise. Dr Caroline Diamond says it's likely that new variants of COVID-19 are in Torbay and says there's still a long way to go before things can get back to normal. OK, thanks, Philippa. That's it for now, but plenty more news on our website. We're back tomorrow at quarter to five. Until then, have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye.